Hello friends, it's Reza and I'm here today with another tutorial um, that's part of my collaboration. Uh, we've got a Geek Girl collaboration going on with my friend Nerdy Creations and me. And right now what I'm doing, besides pinching my own nerve with the thumb that's in the glove on the right, <laughs> ow! is um, a gradient. So I'm using my handy dandy sponge and I've got five colors to use today. I've loosened all the lids which is very useful when you're doing a gradient because you want to work fast. But I'm going to loosen the lids a little bit more because I have a bunch of color to put on here and I want... here we go. There we go. All right. So now we have an orange after the red. We have a coral after the orange. We have a yellow. And then a lilac. All right, and I've already done a coat of white on all these, so let's see how this does. All right, I like this gradient a little better than last time. All right, so you see I'm putting some more lilac on because that didn't take it all. How'd that go? That's pretty. It's a really nice gradient. So I'm going to do the next one now. I've got red that fell over and did not stain my mat. That's awesome. All right, after the red comes the orange. After the orange comes the coral. After the coral comes, come on. Come on, yellow. Come on out. Out to play. Sometimes, I mean, the gradient is such a matter of automatic movement that you can just, as long as you remember your colors, you can kind of just think of other things and, and do this automatically or really watch closely a movie and do this automatically. It doesn't really matter that you're paying too close attention as long as you get the colors right. So this is a fun task to do in the middle of other stuff too. So I like this gradient better than I do the one on my model hand, which is the one I took a picture of. You'll see it in the collage. It's a pity that I didn't redo it because I wasn't super happy with it at the time. My topic of my um, manicure that I'm working on right now with this particular gradient is Lady Hawk, and a movie, fantasy movie from the 80s. My category uh, was pick a fantasy movie from the 80s, any, fan any fantasy movie from the 80s. So I have picked Lady Hawk, and it's one of my favorite movies of all time. And let's just throw all of the nail polish around, shall we? All right. This is very nice. Look at this gradient. That's great. I love it. I'm, I'm really happy I found this tool and I wouldn't have found this tool except for my mani box included it in their mani box for me to review. So I guess that's a fringe benefit of the my mani box program is that you know, they're always going to, they're going to give you some sort of little accessory with your polish and your plates. And that little accessory may teach you something, huh? That's pretty cool. All right. I just need the violet or lilac rather. All right. 
And this will be my last. Oop. Hello. That went on my lap. Very nice. All right, guys. So now I'm going to cover this with Sesh Vite. I'm all done with this. I turn this over to use the other side, just so you know, because the other side is without stain. All right. So where is my, here we go. Here's my Sesh Vite. Sorry, I wore the gloves because, you know, messy is as messy does, but I was, I was getting really messy this past uh, week, so something's happening. And I was just done with all the mess. I'm done losing my fingernail polish less than 12 hours after I paint. Everything's all stained with acetone and gradient. That's how I do. So maybe the gloves will help. All right, so there's three, and you don't need to watch anymore. You are waiting until I start stamping, aren't you? Well, that'll be in a minute. I'll be back. All righty, now that we've got our gradient, our sunset gradient down, uh, let me start with the stamping. So BP72 is the first plate I'm using. I'm using this image here, a little bit altered, and I'm using this image right here. So uh, instead of actual images, copyrighted images from Lady Hawk itself, my theme is Lady Hawk, and I'm um, sort of drawing out pictures of things that happen in the movie. So this middle one is their meeting under the eclipse. Excellent. Got that one down. All right. Let's try this for cleanup. All right, let's get the horseman. So I'm taking off the wings. I'm taking off the horn. Now I've got a regular figure on a horse. So I need Falcon. And a wolf. Where's my wolf? Alrighty. So swords is my next little thing. Got the swords on there. I put just a few crowns on there usually as well. All right, here's the crowns. See this? And 
they didn't show up as well as last time. But that's okay. That's the light. I've got swords there, clearly. So that's fine. Alrighty. We're done with that Powder Perfect Plate Knights and Castles. So I'm going to put that back. Now we need our Wolf Howling. I don't want to give out any spoilers, but this is many, many years after the movie was released, so I don't feel too, too mean when I'm saying that the plot involves a man and a woman falling in love, and then when they try to get hitched or whatever, they get turned into a wolf. He is during the day and she is a hawk at night, so they can't be together. And the movie is about breaking that curse. So anyway, while he's a wolf, he's right down there like that. Let me paint some hill under him. All right, I've got all the nails started. Now I'm just going to deal with the eclipse and the peregrine falcon. So the falcon is her. Let's see. Here's where I've got... This is a Game of Thrones plate. Uh, it's from Creative Shot 35. And we've got a hawk right there. So, first I need white. We're going to double stamp this. And while he's on his horse, she is in the air flying. So this goes above the horse. All right, you guys see that go down? All right. Now let's do the brown. I'm using Beauty Big Bangs Brown. And I did, the last time I did this as my trial run, I did the wrong, I did the eclipse backwards. So I'm going to make sure to do that right this time. All right, there's my peregrine falcon. I keep saying peregrine falcon, but I don't actually know what kind of falcon it is. Could actually be a hawk. I don't know, but it looks like a bird of prey to me. All right, so let's do that eclipse. All right, so we need a circle. Circles are easiest to make with dotting tools, but I've got a fancy little method that I'm gonna try right here. I've got a silicone tool. I'm gonna see how that does. just in a circle. Excellent. So now I do white right around to show the sun. Excellent. Okay. So maybe I need a little bit more black to cover up where I, I, I am so terrible at freehand guys, but I didn't really see a right way around it for the eclipse. And there we go. We are done. We might need a moon for this guy. So I will add 
A little moon up here. There we go. We got a moon for him. And I'm going to top coat that. And we are done. Isn't that exciting? I love this idea of, you know, taking a book or a movie that you love and sort of, you know, condensing it into scenes and finding stamps that fit those scenes. I love doing that. So everybody have an awesome day. And we, I will catch you later. I'll have some reviews coming out soon. Make sure you're subscribed so that you will get those updates. Um, click that notification button when you subscribe and that you will be notified. Or we'll hope <laughs> that you'll be notified. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you later.